What's up Team KBA and how I've got a trio of trainers that we're going to unbox for you today. And it's a new brand that I've yet to check out called Elevar Sports and they're from Mumbai, India. Now I've handpicked a few models of performance annual casual wear trainers. I'm looking forward to see what this affordable range of trainers from Elevar are going to look like. The three that we are checking out today is the Hyperflow Performance Runners trainers. We've got the Court Rise and the Court Low in two different colors. Now, if you're curious about Elevar just like I am, then I'll put the link down below. And if you wanna see my follow-up written reviews of these featuring today's trainers, then you can find them on my website at onetechtraveler.com. Out of the three, let's go, let's go with the performance style shoe, the Hyperflow. A revolution in sole engineering. So the Hyperflow is using something they call the Rider Foam. One, two, three. Woo. I also have a leaflet from Elevar saying thank you. Let's open these up. Ooh. Here we go. This is the Hyperflow, the Galaxy Blue. So I've got one shoe here and one shoe here. Give you a side profile. And with the Rider Foam, it feels fairly lightweight. Definitely on the lighter side. I like the shade of the Galaxy Blue. They position this for running and it's got kind of a typical classic silhouette, but a few details to personalize it and tailor to Elevar. So we've got that logo on the tongue, also on the rear heel. You've got your traditional supports around the front toe box. And we've got some accents around the rider foam. Definitely have some like dynamic, aerodynamic sort of cuts in the rider foam. And in terms of traction, this is what it looks like below. The heel has some nice structure to it. The side walls fairly reinforced. A positive first impression from Elevar. Color me curious. Now we have the court rise. So the boxes are slightly different from their performance to their leisure style. Here's the top and the side. Got the Elevar writing on the back. Let's open this up. I keep spinning it around. It has Elevar logo and a sticker. Ah, slick. Here we go. These are the court rise. The court rise? Yeah, the court rise. I'm gonna put these next to the Hyperflow and they're pretty much the same height. So I immediately noticed the very soft inner lining material. Pleasant, but of course that's gonna wear down as we are wearing these. Uh, I like the sort of, what color is it? Maybe yellow gold sort of green touch of the Elevar logo and name. You got it on the heel as well. Panels and stitching of how this is pieced together, but those help to create sort of the court rise design. Got kind of that classic touch. Also a little bit retro and vintage with the way these sort of panels come in. The outer sole, you've just got full width cutouts from the left to right heel to the toe. And they're a lot more compressed towards the arch section and then spaced out towards the front and the back. But those are, the Elevar Court Rise. I'm curious to see how much lower they are from the Rise. There we go. Ooh, this looks pretty slick. Look at that. The Galactic Funk. So these are the side profiles. The tongue and the heel. It's the treads. So I'm actually quite surprised because their design is actually quite a bit different, even though they're from the same court series. So the rise and the low have some quite a few differences between them. Got a lot more perforated holes and it's just on the outside. There's nothing on the inside. And we have additional perforated holes on the toe box where we didn't have any on the court rise. Now I'm definitely noticing that the court low is quite a bit lower than the rise. So let me put them side by side and you might be able to make out it's quite a bit lower. And when you look at the sole, you'll definitely notice the differences. If you want more of a streamlined agile look and something that's also more sneaker style, the court low is going to give you that. Whereas the court rise, it's got actually more of a retro vintage 
look to a, a classic silhouette, more sneaker style, more vintage classic. The orange is a nice accent to the black and I do like the shade of black where they've used for most of the main panels. We've also got some kind of suede elements, but truth be told, they do feel a little bit more on the cheaper side. It's more closer to like a felt material. It is reinforced and much more sturdier, but it doesn't really give me the same kind of suede feel. But again, for affordable shoes, they definitely look the part. Loving how you wind up for me Tonight is all on me My shop the place for me Yeah, yeah She just want a high life Ooh wee, that body talk to me I need a taste, baby Loving the way Loving the way you move around me No more delay No, you can wait to shut it down Want you show me how you work it I can find no flaws, you perfect. Every time that you and we are back. Whew, it is so hot outside. That's why I'm wearing my bucket hat. Just put through Elevar's trio of shoes. There's a few things I liked about each one of them and a few things to consider. Let's talk about the Hyperflow. Probably one of Elevar's like flagship and I would say is where they excel more compared to their leisure day-to-day -day shoes, uh, their performance shoes, the Hyperflow alongside the Arc Racer. But when I put these on, they are super comfortable. You can tell by the rider foam, it's highly cushioned, but for the size, they are true to size. You can go for your typical shoe size and it will fit right in. The laces themselves, they're a bit thinner than the usual ones you'll get in the Court Rise or the Court Low, which adds to the performance mindedness of the Hyperflow. And when I put these on, it is a shoe that kind of takes some time to get used to. I've tried a few shoes that are performance and these ones, the Rider Foam, they definitely give you a lot of great cushion and extra forward movement. The performance materials are also really well done in the Hyperflow. And I would say out of the trio, these ones stand at the top by quite a wide margin in terms of value for money. The Hyperflow takes some time to get used to even though I've tried those shoes, they just feel a little bit different. And I don't know if it's my particular shoes or it's the way how these shoes are. It's a little bit inconsistent with the way they feel on my heels, on my left foot, felt a bit different to the right. It's more of a spongy response than a springiness. So there's kind of like a delayed feel to it, but in terms of propelling you forward, works great. Shoes that I think you, could, you can wear for a long period of the day, called lows, they have a completely different feel, like from what the Hyperflows are, it's like the complete opposite. These shoes, because it's lower, it's more of a direct response and firmer cushion. You're going to feel the ground a lot more. Do you like the court lows? I think the colorway is great. I still have some reservations about the suede on the back of the shoe, um, but we'll see how that holds up. But overall, the style, silhouettes, the court low, the direct firm response shoe, it is also uh, pleasant to wear. And that finally leads me on to the Court Rise. This was a lot more balanced and more familiar with traditional shoes. Comfortable to wear for a long period of time. Softer, fluffy material is also used around the heel area. You're probably going to see some color transfer just because of that material. Even for the short period of time I wore it, um, some dust kicked up, it's already discolored. That literally wraps it up. I think they're a great affordable brand to enter and I think there's a lot of great things to like about them. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for joining me. I uh, had fun trialing out all of these different Elevar shoes. If you liked what you saw or you wanted to explore more of Elevar, I'll put the link down below and you can also find my written article on the three that you see in today's video on my website at onetechtraveler.com. I'll see you in the next video, Team KBA, but until then, keeping awesome. Peace.